Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. All right, here we go. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to day number two. This is Bobby GZ and Easy coming to you straight out of where we at. Got to think about where we at once again. This is the Boardwalk Bowl introducing the new grand opening for their Brooklyn Billiard South. Nice little pool room they got built inside of the uh, the bowling alley here. Uh, a whole fun family entertainment center is what this is. Largest. Uh, I guess Bowling Alley in the uh, state of Florida. It's got 80 lanes here. Food crews are fun for the family. Large uh, arcade room. Several bars within. Miniature pool room. And we're in one of the big bars now that has two dedicated nine foot tables in it. Which that, uh, thanks to uh, Billiard Technologies, which is John Souders out of Orlando, our pool table mechanic. One of the best in Florida for sure. We uh, had these two tables in the uh, arena here recovered with brand new Predator felt. And we are underway. This is winter side action. Nikki Cuellar, Fargo 581 versus Eric Cordero, Fargo 552. Both of these players play out of the Rack's Billiards in the Sanford area. So uh, they're definitely familiar with each other. So this should be a pretty good matchup. And this is the winner's profit. We did bring back the top 16 players for the day. So out of 48, 49 players that we started with, we're down to 16. Eric makes a pretty good break there. And um, don't really have a whole lot to deal with on the, on the one ball. More than likely will be uh, opting for a safety here. You guys can do me a favor and uh, share the stream. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for the stars, Gary. Greatly appreciate it. All right, so uh, Eric lays down a pretty good safety here. So Nikki's going to probably mass a little bit. No, she might have a small edge of this one ball to see. She can't have much. Well, it didn't look like she had much. Didn't really get a chance to see that shot. But still trying to get the stream and everything back uh, running nice and smooth. Try to get some of these uh, little bugs tweaked out at the moment. So if your screen goes dark for a minute, don't be alarmed. I will get it straightened out. There we go. Not really liking my visuals on this main camera for some reason. Trying to tweak it out for you guys a little bit.
All right, Dinky come out firing on all cylinders here, right out of the gate. Looking pretty sporty there. Bring back cut here on the eight ball. Gotta avoid the scratch either either way. Looks like the pocket that she's pointing at would be the favorite. She will need to hit this even still, probably just a touch of draw. What the scratch? Be nice. Used to slow down and not end up on top of it. And that's great speed. Great speed. Very nice by Nikki Cuellar. And that should help her take this first game down for her against Eric Cordero. Super stroke on that ball. She takes the lead. All right, here we go, Eric. has got a chance to uh, try to make something happen. Got pretty good shape here on the uh, three ball, and looks like we're going to be setting up for a four-nine combo. And here we go. Just like that, Eric quickly ties this ball game up at one-to-one. -one. Against Nikki Cuellar. Ten o'clock. Eleven was the second round. Ah.
So I got the Wi-Fi running over there now. All right, here we go, everybody. Brent back in the house. Good morning. Yeah, sure. Must spend my fat finger. I'm sure he's okay with it. <laughs> yeah, right. He's fine. He just wants to play pool. Yeah, and he was a late entry too. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't yeah. Playing golf that much. Yeah, that's for sure. To it. Here he is. Yeah. Took up one of the spots that uh, someone didn't show up, or whatever the case might have been. All right, this is winner's bracket action, race to seven. We've got a tie ball game. Eric Breakin, rock number three. Nice break. Didn't get a shot on a one, but uh... That's two times he's broken, didn't get a shot on a one. Yeah. He might be able to roll right into the six. Well, Nikki come out firing on all cylinders the very first rack. So uh, she continues to do that. I don't really see her having a problem with this one ball and getting shape for the uh, the three. It's hard to tell if that's the three of the three of the six. Yes, yeah, so that's the six. So. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Just drop back a few inches. Not that far. Yeah. Probably don't, but she can. Well, the four is kind of hanging in the pocket, so she definitely needs to make this ball. Looks like she should be straight at it. Yeah. Just couldn't do much with it. Just took with the table. And there you have it. She has a shot on the four ball. And more than likely, she'll just probably just drift down and shoot the five in this bottom left corner. And she's feeling froggy. She'll go all the way up to the top and bounce off that, that side rail there. She went two rails. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep. I think he's seeing the line pretty good. So, uh, Eric's going, uh, Eric's going to have a hard time here in this match. <laughs> yeah. And then we had a couple of needless misses that um, uh, would definitely not serve him well if he were to make those same against uh, right against Nikki. You know, still not a deal. In yeah. Opinion. Well, it's not where I want to be. No, <laughs> for no, sure. Definitely not where you would be. You can go with the eye roll, but at the same time, uh, you know, six is way in the pocket. It's you know, it's down there. It's in the pocket. Uh, seven balls down on this side. You know, just a light shot. Yeah, well, the seven footers. I would consider this an easy shot, but the nutters, not yeah. so much. <laughs> I don't think she. Uh, it's not that bad. Unless like she makes a face. Being on the row, it's too hot. I think she might have got away with this. Uh, rail first. Not really for sure. They probably do that. It's like the rail a little, a little bit. Yeah, that's a stretch. That's yeah, it's a stretch. Yeah. Eric doesn't like to stretch very far. He, um, whether or not it's just because physically he doesn't want to, or well, he does have back problems too, so I know he can't stretch too much. You know, he's worked for uh, uh, a major uh, delivery carrier for yeah, FedEx, thirty yeah. years. That'll do it. Yeah, no doubt. We got his extension on. Now he's got an 87 inch cue. <laughs> <laughs>
We can definitely reach it. There we go. There we go first. Nicely done. And Just gets in the gap. Now, here's another one of those. You know, the six I thought was a little bit easier just because you could bump the rail, come back somewhere near the eight line and, and make the seven. But now he's got a, he's on the rail, so he's, he has no choice but to follow. Yeah, yeah. And so if you follow it soft, you're going to leave yourself uh, as the most severe. If you land middle table, he's yeah. going to land, you know, cut to the left or the right uh, corner pocket for the eight. Yeah, I don't think he's going to hit this too soft. I don't either, which then to adds to a, a full full follow through on this but then that adds the the ability to miss yeah. it you know hit the rail first and push it out of the pocket or hit the ball too fat we got dominic dunn playing tim moss on the other table over here two good matches yeah so he makes right. it nice shot very nice it's three rails and that's a pretty pretty good position there for the eight ball He's now bear down see what he wants to do follow through he likes to he likes to roll his ball. I like to draw this to the side rail. Me too. I I am about to draw, yeah. and that's why I'm about that's to draw. That's exactly why right there. But he come out smelling like a rose on his shot. It's perfectly placed for the side pocket. And there, there you have it. it. Two to one. Eric takes the lead for the first time in his match. Don't forget, guys, we will be doing a, uh, if we get enough donations, we will be doing these drawings here for these different items. So every donation helps. One, one ticket for $5. Seven ticket for 20 Feeling really generous. 20 ticket for $5. We got a $100 Visa gift card that we'll give it away, along with all this other cool stuff. Doki's magnetic chalk holder, best in the, on the planet. My opinion comes with the uh, big chalk as well. Predator towel, autograph, cue balls. We've got a few different things. All right, so Nikki just broke and uh, doesn't look like she made anything. Oh, yeah, she did make a ball. Leaves herself an extreme uh, extreme cut on the one. I don't really expect her to go for this ball. No, you got to play that behind the 6 5 and just play safe on it. Move the yeah. cue ball back up table toward the 2 8. Yep, that's right. Just skim off the top and run into the six. Try to get the cue ball on that top roll up there. I'm really surprised uh, she hit it that way, but that worked. You got cover. Got cover. Can he? He's got to go above the five to hit it. Yeah. Now the the I, I don't know if the scratch is on with that shot, depending on how he hits it. It's good speed. Looks like he got the six back in the game, yep. so she's gonna have to hit rail first. Should be sending her cue ball towards the nine up there. Right, and it's actually you know I, again not a hundred percent, but it is a makeable shot. Oh yeah. Off the rail into the corner. Been out of the hole. Almost got him. Really Almost fortunate. got him. Yeah, yeah. Eric's got a good opportunity here to try to make uh, something else happen on this uh, one to the two. one of those shots I like to hit with just nothing but left English and just let it roll right off the one natural two rails. Yep. I'll try to do a whole lot with this. Looks like he's just going to go speed. to make it. Go to make it. Oh, wow. Drifted off. I don't know if that was a, he just hit it bad or yeah, I don't kind know of pushed off was. the cue a little bit. But nonetheless, we are where we are. All right, one row back out to the center of the table. Yeah, the two goes. And look, she's looking because she knows that was a little too far. Yeah. She got straight in on it. And she's close to the rail, so now we've got a, a jack-up I think uh, 
She's got to make sure she doesn't run into the nine, which she shouldn't. She shouldn't with that angle, yeah. you're right. It's better than I thought. Yeah. I got the running over there. Yeah, I keep looking over. <clears throat> All right, good speed. You almost have to go for the short side of the four. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Just miss the eight ball. Just draw it right on the other side of the eight ball. You might not even have to do that. You probably just hit straight top of English. It just, yeah. You just don't want to run into the top of the four. Right. Because that's, that's not going to be good. <laughs> yeah, or. Or run it right, right through the pocket. Wow. That was not the biggest gap either. I know. <laughs> Didn't see that happening. No. I only saw the scratch if you hit the top of the board. Right. Yeah, I didn't see that happening that way. Yeah, I didn't think it would go straight in. I think Eric's favored to get out from here. Yeah. Barring any unforeseen circumstances. Mm -hmm. They got slightly on the wrong side of the ball, so he might just be forced to draw this straight back. Or punch it. Punch it off the rail. And just let it slide over. Yeah. Looks like it's gearing up. up. That he just said straight back. It's a good shot. Ooh. He bobbled that one. He sure did. Definitely wiped its feet on its way in. You're making it interesting. <laughs> but he does have the uh, the perfect camo on the eight to get to the nine. Bounce. Nice. Yeah, nicely done. And uh, Eric's looking at taking a two-game uh, lead here over Nicky Cuellar, as he does, three to one. All right, let's do the race to seven. One three isn't the end of the world. On two down. I think he's been in this position more than once, I guarantee it. Audio jump. Probably bounced back more than he hasn't. Audio jump. That is for sure. Dominic Dunn and uh, Tim Moss. Table next door. All right, here we go. Eric Cordero to break. Rack number five, leading this match. Three to one over Nikki Cuellar. Hammers the break. And again, nothing. no shot on the yeah. one ball. Making that wing ball pretty consistent. And he made the uh, two, so he's making that. Did he make the two? Okay. Yeah. He made the two behind the, <clears throat> the behind the rack ball. Yeah, he keeps losing, uh, losing the cue ball here. Would have been a nice shot if his cue ball would have stopped in the middle of the table. Push out? Yeah, he's testing uh, testing Nikki's skills here. I think Nikki's going to make him pay for this. Just to go over the rules a little bit. So the uh, player coming to the table immediately after the break, whether or not it's the person that broke or the next player feels a dry break, can elect to push out. A push Ooh. out is you can move the cue ball anywhere on the table, and the next uh, person coming to the table uh, has the option to either take a shot or uh, give it back. And Nikki elected to take that shot, so it just left her a little bit of a tempting shot, but not a gimme. Yeah, definitely wasn't a gimme. I did expect her to make it, especially after True. her first rack. Uh, her first rack is totally different from the rest that she's played so far, so she's going to need to try Maybe to I leave again. Make something happen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should leave again. And she played like lights out the first rack. All right. She's got another real opportunity here to try to make something happen. Just barely float this ball in and just let the key ball drift to the center of the table. You don't have to do a whole lot with this. Yeah, actually, I don't see too much difficulty between all the way to the five. Well, it's all about six. getting getting good on the three. You get good on the three, then yeah, she, she's got a pretty routine uh, run out. Six to seven is a little long, and seven back to eight is a little long, but yeah, at least to the six should be pretty routine. 
And there she goes. Yeah. And she knew it. Was now all of a sudden it's like she's she's lost control of the table. Now you're thinking about extreme right draws. Yeah. Is the five going to be in the way? If I don't hit it enough, to hide, am I going to hide myself behind the six or the eight? Yeah. All for that one shape. Yep. She needs to make one good shot here. Well, if she had made it, the position will play. Yeah, position was good. There. Confidence levels uh, dropped quite a bit from the first rack to the fifth rack. She's uh, missed a few balls that she should be missing, and I think it's kind of wearing on her mental game at the moment. But if Eric keeps doing that, she'll, she'll, uh, her mental game will be revamped. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, something to also think about is everybody here is, none of us are professionals. Well, that's true. So we're all know, amateurs. We all had stuff last night, even though we got out of here late. You know, you never know what kind of rest they got. You know, it's not. Yep. Late. So you can have a big swing from day to day. The next day is always a different day. Always. Always. <laughs> yes. I was worried about that going to that um, going to the corner pocket there. I yeah. think I would have sent the three ball down. And I think so. I think here. I would have jacked up and tried to get the cue ball to, to marry up back to that seven. Right, and let the and three ball the three just, up top. Also creating space between the three and yeah. the four, making it a back and forth again, up yeah. and down the table again. Anytime I'm playing, I, I want to make my opponent go back and forth, up and down the table. That's mm -hmm. whenever most mistakes happen. If they can live on one side of the table, fewer mistakes happen. Good speed. Good speed. I think he put himself in a good position to get uh, yeah. shape on the seven for position on the eight. Just a straight draw. Don't try to get all the way down here. Just get past no, the five pockets. No, he did. He tried to get there all the way down. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Now he's in the worst position he could be in on the seven ball. Didn't I say don't get straight? Yep. <laughs> I think so. Man. <laughs> I can't believe that ball did that off that point. I see Nikki still grimacing over the shot. She needs to. Yeah, she's got to get herself back. She's got to clear her head. Focus. Why not say after this rack, win or loss would be a great time for a, a quick break. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. rest your break and yeah, for sure. <clears throat> revamp the head. I noticed the stream count went up. Welcome to stream, everybody. If I, if you could like the stream share the stream that would be fantastic absolutely thank you guys wow boy you powerhouse much. that ball too much yeah he's gonna be forced for a uh an eight nine combo and i like the combo versus the uh the billiard because yeah even if you don't make the, the nine, the eight should stay right there, and the cue ball should be coming all the way back up table. Back up table, that should. Leaving a very difficult shot, as long as the nine's not hanging in the pocket. Right. So we'll see. So there is a little bit of a uh, little bit of pace that you need. Whenever I say pace, you don't want to hit this pocket speed. You want to hit it, you know, faster than pocket speed, just so the nine doesn't sit. Yeah, yeah. I would not so it, hard that you change your shot. I would hit it, you know, just a little bit uh, stronger than a, a lag speed. There you go. But not much. Cue ball's going to come flying off the eight anyway. So it's right. really going to be so about, thin. It's all about cue ball speed here. Almost put just a touch of a quarter tip of inside. Just yep. so that way it comes yeah, straight up. Yeah, not much up. at all. And see, he overcut the eight ball, which and is the reason why the eight came out in front right. of the pocket. He hit, the, he hit it pretty bad. He's a little upset about that. Which I don't blame him. I would be too. <laughs> Making it, and, and that's the thing, you know, I mean, whenever we're looking at these shots, making it and not making it obviously is upsetting from time to time, but oh, yeah. missing it, but missing it so badly is right. also upsetting, you know, because if you miss it, you're like, hey, it was a tough shot and I barely missed it. Yeah. I can live with that. Okay. 
All right, so Nikki's now definitely got to... Uh, a little coming off the rails here. She, yeah, she, she certainly has to take us a, a little mental break here. She popped up too fast on that. Yeah. She's definitely... Uh, she needs something easier to start with. Get her confidence level back. Yeah. No gimme here. And notice nope. uh, Eric didn't try to... Eric didn't try to do much with this one. I think he was a little snake bit from the last time. Like the <laughs> yeah, for man. sure. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to push out and cut this thing. Screw it. Yeah. And Diddy. And no there scratch. Well, there you go. Four. Eric Cordero. He's going to the restroom. So that was a good call on my end. Yeah. All right. Come on. Think I'm gonna take a break and go get me a soda. I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. All right, everybody. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to the other table and let you see what's going on with uh, Dominic Dunn. I'm good, thank you. Uh, let's see, we got Dominic at the table right now. I know that somebody's got two. I don't know what the other person has. So uh, we'll see what they have here in a second. I think he's going to take a break, so we'll just watch the action over here on uh, Dominic's table. Dominic with a little bit of hop, skip, and a jump for making that one on the side. Dominic's been playing well this tournament. Yeah, both of them. And Dominic put himself up here. He just needs to get himself in one of that eight balls so that we can get back to the nine. It really depends on your flavor of how you want to get there. But man, I told you there's a smack of the cue. Didn't break. So that's good. I hate to see him break that cue. It's a nice one. Didn't leave much for the seven. Um, but uh, he definitely left a shot for his opponent. I'm trying to figure out who he is. I know you guys know who he is. Somebody go ahead and post in the comments. Let me know uh, who Donald's playing here. I just walked up mid-action. Look it up on Digital Pool and let everybody know that the, uh, the, sh the bracket is up on Digital Pool. You can see where your favorite player is, how they're going. Just go to digitalpool.com and then the search for tournaments. You're going to type in Firecracker. Hit search and you should be able to find it. So he did leave Dom a little bit of a shot. He went for the bank, which is understandable. I'd have gone for the bank as well. Um, for a first, I guess. Because it's four to one. So it's a six rack set. All right, let's see who we have here. Dom made that shot. I mean, you know, and that's the thing, mental toughness from Dom. I don't really know much about his mental toughness, but I, his ebbs and flows are huge. I think that, uh, uh, you know, he gets upset, and, and then he's, boom, back to playing again just to get it out of the system. He's playing Tim Moss. Tim Moss is who he's playing. Tim Moss and Sandy got that in there for me. Thank you, Sandy. So he's left himself a little bit of a tester cut. But he should be just happy to be back there after the miss on the 7th. So he's looked at it. He's taking it seriously. And as he does everything. Cut. Beautiful. Watch out for the side. Watch out for the side. Watch out for the side. And... Bounce out. Okay. That was a close one. I, I'm i going to bet a dollar to Donuts that if that scratched me, we would have seen another Q smack and uh, <laughs> possibly a snap off. I don't know. 
Uh, looks like it. Looks like it. Dominic's up three to two over Tim Moss, and that still is on the winner's side, so that is a race to seven. And it looks like they're taking a break on on uh, that table as well. No, he's coming up to a right line. That's actually a good as well. So we were <laughs> if my reaction would be a lot different, I'd be like, I'll give you the last two, let's go. <laughs> All right, so Tim got the break. Uh, he's looking at the two ball. I uh, can't even see it all the way. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, no, it's the one. I'm sorry. He's got the one. He's going to push that out to the corner or try to. Do. Got a little bit of a safe. That's not going to be good enough for a safe. <clears throat> Dom can definitely see it. And that six is close enough to the pocket. You could overcut the or undercut the one into the rail back into the six, and it may actually go in that corner. Uh, you know, cut it rather than have to contend with it. But it looks like he's going to opt to get behind the six. He hit it just a little bit, so that's going to push it down table. Let's see how uh, Tim does on this one, and we'll be back in action on the main table here in just a second. <clears throat> All right, he's going to play for the safe. Got to be worried about the scratch. Ooh, he played that nicely, and it went in. Unfortunate for Mr. Moss. We'll be. I'll keep you up to date on that one as we get back to the main table. Nicky to break. One to four. Nine ball on the break. Does not count as a win. And the cue ball is covering the spot, so it's going to be on the back side of the, uh, correct? Uh, if the cue ball is covering the spot, it's on the back side of yeah, the... Yeah, it's on the back. You want me to spot it? And Bobby's going to come spot it. Bobby's going to take care of the spot. So in this case, nine on the break does not win. And so what you have to do is respot the nine. But if there is a ball occupying the nine, uh, the spot for the nine then the nine needs to be put as close to the spot, starting from the back of the table as possible, as you can see where Bobby placed it there. <clears throat> All right, on the other table, Tim Moss is going for a jump shot on that six just to catch the sliver of the two. Oh, and he caught the two full. Great jump. However, he's going to leave uh, leave it visible for, for Dom. Back to Nikki. She's going to definitely play safe. The one into the three. She's not staying down like she normally does um, and not taking, uh, she normally takes a few more practice strokes. She did have a good look at it, but bearing down, there's a little less bear down than I'm used to seeing from Nikki. She's trying to find her her game back. <laughs> she yeah. lost it for, for a short moment, so now I, she's trying to... I don't think it would take much either. Like they two, won't. three, you know, ball connectors yep. just to kind of get the stroke. Yep. That's that's she, really all it's going to take. Yeah, she's too experienced to not, not to take any more than that. Yep. I need a game. Okay. And Eric this, was trying to set up for the 2-9 combo. And he was. I think he was looking too far ahead. I've, I've either way. done that. Yeah, you look too many balls down. 
the road and uh you miss the one that's right in front yeah of he's got a nice he got a nice row out of it so he did I think um nikki's gonna be forced to jump this ball i don't think she can hit it i mean you could you could two rail it you yeah. could go against the right rail then back to the left rail and that's two but you're flirting with that scratch whenever you yeah. do that she doesn't like the jump apparently no i would i would i would definitely use a little bit of right hand english and over overbank it just so that way it checks on that back rail and comes straighter out. Yeah, I don't like this at all. <clears throat> yeah, this is a, a difficult to... Yeah, this is asking... You don't have to hit it hard, at least. That's true. And she hits and a she great... And she hits it good. Great kick. Leaves a shot on the two. It's a Z shot. That 3-6 is still... Still going to be an issue later on down the down the table. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's, it's well, feasible. It is feasible, but then you have the two five, which is also a little bit of so it's not a smooth <laughs> road map. <laughs> Eric cannot afford to keep doing this because no. Nikki eventually is going to make him pay. <laughs> right, right. She's going to catch a gear, and she's definitely had she's had several opportunities. She just hasn't been able to capitalize on them. She's got the Batman bridge back out. Yeah. I just, it looks like the bat symbol, so I call it the Batman Bridge. Okay. So she's going to thin off the edge of this ball and try to get the cue ball up table without Good. hitting a four, but that didn't happen. And she snugged up so that 3-6, that, that was makeable. Yeah. It's, it's a little uh, less makeable. I don't think it's makeable anymore, but I'm sure uh, X probably fixing to fix that problem. The only problem with fixing that problem is you don't get back yeah, down tail for the two. For the two. That's the only problem. Unless the six lines up dead on the nine. Oh, good grief. Wow. Well, it's not dead, but it's makeable. Like. I want to see what that other angle looks like. It is possible. Yeah. He didn't even he try. He didn't even it. try, no. So it must not have been as on as we thought. Two ball looks like a definite bank. I don't think she can, uh, or safe. You know, you hit the two ball behind the uh, six, seven, and uh, now the cue ball's not going to come the direction no. that I want. No, you just got to go to uh, one rail with us. No, she went behind the 6-7. Yeah, the cue ball got there. That's not bad. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's I just, just didn't know the cue ball came all the way over there. Eric could be kicking his ball up table. I thought it'd be too deep in the... Uh... Oh, he's trying... Wow. See, you can't do that on this table. Wow. Um, so what he was trying to do there is is shoot an off angle and use spin to come back into the two. Reverse English. Uh, yeah, and this particular table really is a little too out. slick for that. Yeah, yeah you, you have know. to really turn that ball to make that work like that. And some of your some of your other bar tables without new cloth have been there for a while. A lot of chalk, a lot dirty. That you can you can almost go in at a thirty degree angle and bring back out at a thirty yeah. degree angle. Uh, but this one that is not happening on this one. All right, so here you go. Nikki's got ball on hand. Real opportunity to try to make something happen here. She, uh, I don't really like, uh, I don't like where she's this side. Is. No, I really, yeah. But again, if she can string a few together, and this is why I don't like this. I like side. her shooting it in the bottom right corner and just draw the cue ball a little closer to the, yeah, to the side pockets. I agree. I agree. And that, that also helps keep your angle. Like yep. uh, going into the side pocket, you know, you either, you need to overrun it to yep. where you keep the angle, or underrun it to where you keep the uh, shallower angle. But right now she got almost straight in, so she's just going to follow it forward. And she gave one pump. Yeah, she didn't even stroke it or anything. No. Like a one bam. Looks like it's three three. Uh, Dominic Dunn, Tim Moss, three three right now. Dominic to break. Um, with a scratch on the break. So Chris has a little work to get back on that four. A lot of traffic to weave through. Uh, that he was he just contacted too many of them. Oh, you mean Eric? Eric, sorry. Who did I say? <laughs> where Chris come from? I don't. I don't know where I got. <laughs> There's not even a Chris in the room. There's not even a Chris in the room. <laughs> what was that reading? Anywho, I wouldn't even read the chat. We all know what you're That's something. terrible. All right, and he Eric laid down a pretty nice safety there. So, you know, uh, Nikki, other than that ball in hand, has been playing from her back foot for most of her shots. So that'll also throw you a little on tilt. Yeah. <laughs> but she kicks incredibly well. Again, not a... Well, let's misses. see. I, even if she misses this one, she kicks incredibly well. There's yeah. Just... 
And she gets yeah, behind the Good eight. Good roll out of Good for her. See, it, uh, see what right. Eric can do with it. He can catch a sliver, so he's going to send the four into the five. Oh, it even less. Oh, that would have deflated some sails if he had made that. Wow. Guaranteed. All right. Thank you. you got to go for this ball. Oh, you have to. You have to. Yeah. I'd yeah. almost put just a tip of right just so that way I don't come too much toward the uh, other rail. got to make sure she doesn't scratch. Yeah, that's, that's why. It looks like if you just straight follow it, it's going to wind up scratching. It'll be really close. I like to hit the left side of the side pocket and bounce out just off the rail. Yeah, so I agree. Five in the same pocket. A tip of high left should get you there. Yep, that's right. You don't have to hit it very hard. No, it's take no, off no. already. No, and and and, and you want to get further away from the five so you're not stuck with a harsher angle right. on the five. You just already got to roll ball. That's all you got to do. She get you, natural she, position. She's shaking her head. She don't like it. She, her confidence level is just way too low right now. This is not this is the time to go for it, though. This is not a time to play safe. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, she's got to go for this. She needs to build up her confidence level somehow. Okay, let's see how many practice strokes she takes on this one. One, two, heads down, stay down. She went for the safe. She went for the two-way. <laughs> Good shot. It was, but I really liked her to make that shot. Yeah, me too. If she was, if she was feeling as confident as she was in the first one, she would have, uh, she would have definitely, she would have gone for it. All right, so we have ball in hand, and a little bit of indecisiveness from me here. This is also indicative of trying to make it back into gear. You know, most most of the time, I bet you just would have placed it right next to nine, made it, drifted up by the six or the five in the corner, and been done with it. Now she's thinking too, you know, a little too deeply about it because she has every shot in her bag. None, no shot left on the table is beyond her ability. Well, she doesn't get out from here. She's got issues. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. So she likes the five in the side. Where is she going to place that six? Uh, looks like she's kind of straight in on the five. Looks like it's kind of straight in on the five. Not um, not too difficult of a of a shot there. There we go. I like the five. All right, so she left herself the angle to bump into the seven on this one. So I would I would be looking forward to hit this a little firmer to get that seven to move. I really don't see a trot. I mean, you could draw out of this, and then you got a back cut on the seven. It really just depends on how she wants to get out of this. A little bit of a pickle. The only problem is you think too hard about the seven, you could miss a six. So bear down, stay on the six. There you go. Good bump on the seven, seven on the side. <laughs> now here's where that inside check English could bring her back to the middle of the table if she wants it. Um, she can hit a lot of high right if she has enough of an angle. She could hit a lot of high right. Uh, no, I don't see that happening. Just follow up with a little bit inside. I thought she had more angle than that. Just follow straight up. Take your time there, Nikki. All right, she's got herself a shot on the eight ball. Small draw. Just take the draw and take the cut on the nine. Don't try to do a ton with it. Don't try to do a ton with it. She is moving away from her line with this eight ball. She's not moving toward the line she wants for the nine, but at this point, it's just a requirement. So she's going to go for the draw. She's going to do a lot with it. 
but look at that. That was a good finish stroke. She may be getting out the, uh, the, the bat bridge here. Yeah, I thought so. Difference between a 9 foot and a 7 foot whenever you're 5 foot. Alright, she's got the old Batman bridge out. This one's for the, uh, for the chance to come back. Nine. There we go. Bridge. All right. Nice out. She didn't really falter. She hit some good shots. It's got to get her confidence back. <coughs> Nicely done. So hopefully she's got a little bit of confidence back there. That'll get her into the. Uh, that'll get her ready for the next. Next rack. It is Eric's break. Let's see uh, if Eric can get a shot on the one. All right, we're four three on the other side. Dom done is down now four three. Dom's at the table. Shoot the two. He's moving the ball around the table really well. Um, he just missing shots. Should be missing is really what's happening. All right, here we go to the break. Eric leading four to two. Looking for that elusive one ball shot. So this time he elected to draw off the rack. And uh, he was unable to make a ball and still didn't leave a shot on the one ball. So mm -hmm. <laughs> he should just go to making the one ball. Yeah. <laughs> move, move to the cut break on the side, make the one ball on the side and Uh, Nick Miller, I think uh, if you did here, I don't know when you got here, but now it is 4-4. Four, four. Dom just won that last rack, 4-4. Four, four. So they well, are... a quick one, too. Yeah, yeah. The bracket, uh, Robin, is on digitalpool.com. Digitalpool.com. I will actually post a link in there in just a second so that way you can see it. Uh, actually, Bobby... If yeah. I put the link in here, can you pin it to the bottom? Just like you pin the other stuff? Yeah. Because this is your Facebook, right? Mm hmm So let me see if I can get that pin there for everybody for the rest of the time. Uh, steal this page it was scratched by Eric that's a little unfortunate not what he was going for obviously all right we're looking at a uh, shot on the nine yeah and she's she wants to take it I can tell but it doesn't look like billiard. a billiard it doesn't look it's like a much gimmick. easier shot with the billiard. Oh yeah, she's definitely got a billiard if she shoots it. Yeah, I think she's got the wrong line for that though. Maybe she does. It looked a little bit off. Back All right, here. takes it down. All right, so that's going to help her confidence level for sure. Just got to keep it rolling. Now she's only controlling by one game. So that's uh, that's got to help her. That's definitely going to help a little her better. confidence. Definitely going to help her confidence. Get it? Yeah, I have copied, but how do you get... Um, Just hit the video itself. I did. Yeah, there right we there. go. Thank you, sir. You want the mouse? It's right here. No, I should be able to just click in there and make a comment. But... It's not going on with it? Not allowed to make a cut. Kind of 
Reach up on it? No, it's still playing. Obviously, it's showing. Just showed uh, Eric make one. And Eric misses the two. There we go. All right. Enter that in there. And then can I pin comment? All right, so I put the link in there, guys. I'm not really sure how to pin the comment. It'd be, uh, here, I got it. Uh oh. There we go. There. All right, so now we've got a pin to the bottom. Should have a pin. Yep, there we go. So now at the bottom, you'll see two things. Uh, thank you very much, Gary. Thank you for the kind words. Um... Doing our best, as always. You know, Bobby's obviously better at it than I am. Well, I don't know about all that. We got the technical stuff down pretty good now, it looks like. Sound, uh, sound quality should be uh, tip-top now. Video quality should be absolutely excellent. Uh, you guys have any issues out there with the stream, let me know. Hit me up. Uh, but everything seems to be running perfectly uh, on our end. And uh, now down pinned at the bottom, you'll have two things pinned at the bottom. First thing is going to be uh, a pin of the digitalpool.com. You can look at the bracket there, see how everybody's doing. As Nikki makes uh, work of this rack, she's running pretty well. And then uh, you'll also see where you can uh, donate stars. And if you're not familiar, at the bottom left-hand corner of your chat box, there's a little star. There's a star. And uh, you just select that. You can donate stars if that works. Or you can just donate to the, um, uh, to the stream itself. Naturally, if you uh, donate through Cash App and uh, Zelle, you get uh, the tickets for the drawing day, uh, which is going to be held uh, just before the final, the final match this evening. So any donation is certainly appreciative. Helps uh, help me cover the uh, commentators today uh, and for yesterday. And uh, hopefully, uh, working on improving the stream, trying to get you guys uh, two live stream tables for our next event, hopefully. That way, um, looks like I'm going to need another camera and a few other things. But either way, we uh, try and improve. All right, so Nikki's, uh, Nikki's, as you can tell, her confidence level is currently uh, picked up considerably. Uh, she's running more balls at a time rather than one. <laughs> and there you go, just like that. Nikki Cuellar ties this ball game up. Let, uh, let Eric know that she's not going anywhere. So he's going to need to keep the hammer down if he intends on winning this match. Because... Nikki's going to keep uh, pushing forward, as she normally does. Here's uh, some of the awesome prizes you guys can win for your donations. $100 Visa gift card. about that because 
turn the video. To add it real quick. I have to add it real quick. This is the thing I hate about this. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna guess it's that one. It's not that one. In that case, it should be the last one in. Yep, just come on. Lights Out Streaming is powered by Billiard Technology. That would be John Souders out of Orlando. You can find him at OrlandoBilliards.com. He takes care of uh, all your pool table needs, whether it be repairs, need a pool table moved and relocated, need to buy a new table, he can uh, certainly get you uh, taken care of. All right, so Nikki's got a little tester here. Don't really like this particular shot, being that uh, four ball is where it's at. So, I mean, you gotta you gotta make yourself play safe here. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what she was trying to do, but hey, it works. I think she was trying to play a uh, a two rail safety, I suppose. Going back and forth. Oh, got a loose connection. There it is. There it was. Working on a third camera. Now.
I go to set up a new camera and boom, just like that. Nikki's up five to four. Nikki's up five to four. Wow. Wow. Okay then. Let's go, Nikki. Where's uh He's getting that stroke back, getting that confidence back. Yep. Sure. A few is. less distractions. And Janine Phillips, let's go, Nikki. Atta girl, Robin. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. Lisa, let's go, Nikki. Hey, Lisa, welcome to the stream. Kate Bo, welcome to the stream. Jimmy Antoinetta, I tuned in late. Was she down big? Yeah, 1-4. One 1-4. Four. One four. She's gone on a 4 nothing uh, streak there, Jimmy. And um, uh, it doesn't look like it's slowing down just yet. She's got, uh, she's got the ability right now to swing at this 9-ball with no... No negative impact. She doesn't really have a shot on the two, so she can concentrate 100% on the shot on the on the uh, nine. Uh, sending the two ball back up table, using the four, five, three as blockers. It looks like a really good uh, opportunity to go up to the hill. So let her give this a shot, give this a play. Let's see. I'd like to get you the other camera. Oh, she blew by the nine and scratched in the corner. Wow. <laughs> That's okay, though. Eric's still got to get the run out. And the good news about this is she didn't leave a... Uh, a nine combo out there at least so he's still got to run all the balls he has been sitting he's down four uh four nothing in the last four matches so this is where she's got a chance to to get herself uh you know back in the game it's also a chance for eric to build his confidence back up and eric's a good shot so uh you know this is going to be a good tale of, of what happens I think she was trying to carry him directly into that nine rail first. Probably would have been a better idea. A little bit of steer from uh, Eric there, and the cue ball went a little further down table than he wanted, leaving himself a long shot. However, it is natural. Back to the seven, a little punch back over. Yeah, so, Jimmy, if you had seen uh, so her first game, uh, she was shooting lights out. It was, it was almost inevitable based on that first game, but then... Um, Eric caught a little bit of a gear, caught some good rolls. Uh, Nikki um, uh, fell behind a little bit, missed some shots. Uh, and she's getting her stroke back now. She was able to put together a good couple of runs, uh, getting her confidence back. And so uh, looks like she's uh, she's back in action over there where we've got the match that we were expecting. Just a good fight. <laughs> Got a better camera there for uh, Dominic Dunn and Tim Moss's match. Thanks to Brett. Hooking the brother up with another Brio. Looking good. All right. Back to the feature table here. And there's a miss by Eric. And that's one of the things that happens whenever you sit for a minute. And a scratch. A miss and a scratch. Oh, no, that was the wrong, wrong table. Wrong table. Back. I was going to go watch Hit on the other side. We're going to watch, uh, actually, we're going to watch Nikki. Try to finish up this rack on uh, Eric. I heard a ball fall. I couldn't see. It was not a scratch by Eric. It was a scratch on the other table. Shot by Nikki. Good. Cue ball's running a little bit further back. These tables are fast, but that's fine. She doesn't have to go on the side, obviously. She can just draw out. And it doesn't take a lot of draw, uh, just uh, a tip of draw, just to pull it away from the side. You don't really have to worry about the angle. The nine's really deep in there, so uh, it's close to the pocket. You really don't have to do much more than make the eight with just a tip of draw. No, uh, Robin, the nine does not count on the break. Um, once the nine, uh, uh, once the nine is made on the break, it's put back on the spot.
<clears throat> As you heard, a, a nice Q smack from uh, Dom. That means he did not get the shot that he wanted. And at the same time, Nikki is able to pull off the win there. Now it's six to four. Six to four by Nikki Cuellar. That's a, that's a five to nothing comeback. Shaking her head because uh, she got different on the five. I think it's probably that five that she's uh, shaken off. She's got a different look in her, her, her demeanor, by the way. She got her composure back, for sure. Yeah, definitely. She's got a different look in her demeanor, different approach to the ball. Look and, at her uh, game face. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. It's, <laughs> yeah. She's on it. Uh, some other rules, Robin. Uh, it is alternating break. Uh, it is cue ball fouls. You can three foul. You can jump. You can push after the break. And uh, the nine ball does not count until after the break. It won't count on the break. All right. I see a 1-5 combination in the future. All right. You know, you can get a little tricky and split behind the five, and if you contact it, it could slide in. But at the same time, I don't really know if there's a, a reason to do that. Does she like the carom or does she like the shot? Look like the carom. She likes the carom. Shot that pretty quick. Yes, she did. You do not want to get into the mindset of, uh, I want to get this over with. So, you know, the first rack and the last rack are the two hardest racks to win. Absolutely. And and uh, you don't want to get into the, I want to get this over with mindset. If I was Eric, I almost wouldn't have made that ball. Yeah. You know, because you had no chance on the two. Now you've got this. Uh, two slide over to the five carom, and hopefully the two dresses up somewhere. Oh, look at and, that. And uh, he almost like his hand. Yeah. He almost yeah. fouled it. So now you got a lot of a lot of left-hand English to make this two. Now I'd be hitting left-hand English to force it in there because that's what happens if you don't. Wow. All right. Here comes Batman again. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Anytime she's past the side pocket, Batman's coming out. Oh, for sure. Can't, can't get that, that a little bit. <laughs> Janine's got a nice yes. A little jump for joy. I want to see you, Janine. I want to see you jump just like that. <laughs> <laughs> One on video, too. It didn't yeah, happen. yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah. All right, just punch it through. Does the three dress up on the side? Oh, looks very like nice. it does. Very nice. I think she's even got a little bit of an angle. This uh, is her match for the taking right now. It is, yeah. Uh, do you follow up one rail for the four in the uh, bottom right hand corner from this look? Well, I mean, if she's straight in, you do follow up just past the seven ball, keeping your angle to get to the six. She okay, she went in. for the side. Okay, she went for the side. Nice. Yeah, and so probably wanted a little less angle. Yeah, I've gone for a little less. She needed to really get past the seven, but she got stuck on top of it a little bit. But she's going to be okay. She'll just, she'll, she should just pocket speed this ball. Do you like the pocket speed? I do. Pocket okay. speed. You hit a little fat with a touch of left English, and that helps throw the ball in. And it also gives you the ability to hit it a little bit softer. So you hit this with uh, left English. Yeah, because even if you fall too far on the six with a harsher cut, you got the seven in the side. Yeah. You can just move past right. it so you have more than one pocket. Yeah. Just barely pocket this ball. She Not her. Two rails. Yeah, might as well just bump it out there, get it closer to the side pocket for the next yeah. shot. <laughs> There's yeah, an she, option for you. She didn't need to hit it like that. <clears throat> no, no. Um, the only other thing that I was thinking of is uh, uh, a tip of inside and going into the bottom rail and then back into the side, but that's a lot of movement for no reason. Yeah, she only needed to hit it slow. Pocket speed would have been just fine. On the other table, Dominic Dunn is, uh, I think it's 5-5, five, five, and Dom's got a bank on the 5 to the 9. Should be 5-5. Five, five. Nice bank. Nice bank. Extreme back cut on the 9. He does, but at least he's banking the At least he's shooting the 9, you know. Sometimes you're just happy to still be there after a good shot like that. You know, you would be mad that you're not in line, and we're just happy that we're shooting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice shot, shot there. Yeah. And I, I don't mind this angle, you know, just to draw out. I don't like it. I mean, <laughs> I do not like this angle. Not, not, a, not a like, but I'm not that mad at it. You can still get there. Yeah, you can. 
just draw it a little bit to the side below the side yeah, pocket. It's not easy at all. There's a lot more back cut to this ball than it appears. You don't even, I mean, really, I don't think she can draw this ball past the side pocket. You don't she think might so? be able to, but she's going to make We're going to set this back up. I'm pretty sure I can, get behind this. I can get past this ball pretty well. Dominic missed it. Key smack, key smack, no key smack. He's going to leave it on the rail and leave him a tough shot. Oh, wow. That's a tough shot he left. Yeah, this is this boss. is not an easy. I mean, the shot is 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 okay, but position is is very tough. This table draws so well. I really yeah, don't but see. it's new felt. I don't expect her to draw it past the side no, pocket. She doesn't like the draw. She needs a really good stroke to do this. Now here, she's going to punch this ball, swing at three rails, and that part she did perfect. She just missed the ball. Until she scratches. Yeah, until she scratches. That's brutal. It is brutal. I like the draw. I think I could draw out of that every time. And wow. Moss made that Tim nine Moss ball. made that ball. Whoa. I was trying to catch it for you guys, but my bad. It was Andy a tough Hoop. shot. It was a tough shot. Tim Moss is on the hill first. See, Jimmy likes the – Jimmy likes – see, I like I like the uh, I like the draw out of it. I do. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a I don't like the draw. Guy. Not on New Felt. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Yeah, I knew Felt would draw that ball right in the side pocket with that kind of angle. Maybe if it was about two more inches straighter, then yeah, I like the draw stroke. I think she shot the right shot. She just missed it really, really bad. It wouldn't have scratched if she made the ball. Ooh. He caught the wrong side of the pocket, even though he's still in good shape. Yeah, he didn't okay. catch the side of the pocket that I think he wanted to, is what I'm Probably saying. Probably shoot the eight and nine in the same pocket. Uh, unless he oh, runs he into, runs it, into and it misses, misses the, eight. the eight. So who's he feeling the pressure? He no, he just it. gives up the match. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't Eric care. I never do that. I, I know you don't. <laughs> never do that. 